Disneyland is your land. <laughs> Come seek an adventure at the old pirates, eh? Make the jump to life, What is it about Peter Pan's flight at Disneyland that makes this ride so incredibly popular? The attraction has been around since Disneyland's opening day, and to this day, it remains one of the most sought after rides in the park. In fact, it's a favorite for guests to rope drive, meaning they make a beeline for it as soon as the park opens, knowing that lines can exceed 30 minutes throughout the day. But did you know the version of Peter Pan's flight we ride today isn't quite what guests experienced back in 1955? That's right, the original Peter Pan's flight, which debuted on Disneyland's opening day, was quite different. Back then, the ride was much simpler. The queue was mostly outdoors, and the exterior looked like a medieval tournament tent, complete with colorful stripes and shields. Unlike today's version, Peter Pan himself didn't even appear in the original ride. Neither did the Darling Children or the Lost Boys. The journey took riders through the nursery, over the London skyline, and into Neverland, but only from an aerial view. There weren't any close-up scenes with the characters we know and love. Even the final encounter with Captain Hook was much less detailed than it is today. Riders flew past Skull Rock, where Hook ordered Mr. Smee to fire at you which was fun. And then you'd glide by TikTok the crocodile before the ride ended. Fast forward to 1982, when Disneyland's Fantasyland underwent a massive redesign. The entire area was reimagined and Peter Pan's flight got a major upgrade. In 1983, the ride reopened with a lot more detail. Peter Pan himself was finally added to the scenes, including a brand new audio animatronic version. The mural outside stayed, but now the ride was filled with much richer storytelling and advanced technology for the time. The original pirate ship restaurant and Skull Rock were removed, but pieces from the restaurant, like the lanterns and rigging, were added to enhance the ride's theming. This is when Peter Pan's flight really started to resemble the experience we have today. And more recently in 2015, the ride underwent another major refurbishment, adding even more magic to the experience. New animatronics were added, including a beautiful scene of Wendy, John, and Michael flying over John's bed in the nursery, and the London and Neverland scenes got dazzling new effects, like projection technology, which brought movement to the London streets, Big Ben, and even the waters around Neverland. Pixie dust sparkles when Peter takes the ship's helm now, making the magic of the ride even more enchanting. So, when you hop on Peter Pan's flight today in 2024, you're experiencing decades of love and care that have been poured into making this ride an unforgettable adventure. Whether you've ridden it once or a hundred times, there's something magical and charming about soaring through the night sky with Peter Pan. So sit back, relax, and enjoy our ride through of Peter Pan's flight here at Disneyland. And if you can, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you never miss an episode. Thanks so much for joining us. Straight on.